But tonight we're learning more about the Acadiana impacts after more than 400 family dollar stores were deemed temporarily closed over the weekend. 30 stores in Acadiana are among the closures after a rodent infestation was discovered at a, dis a distribution site in Arkansas. Taylor Tool joins us live from Sunset where one of the affected family dollar stores is located. And Taylor, what did you see out there today? That's right, Jim Marcel. Throughout the day, I've seen dozens of cars pull up to this very family dollar, only for them to get out and get right back in them and drive away, several of them frustrated. I was going to stop and just grab a few toiletries and stuff, turn in the parking lot, and family dollars closed. If they had that many rats, I heard it was like 1,100. Someone had to see that. It's just easy and convenient to come here. We need the family dollar store, period. In the small town of Sunset, folks around here say they rely on the family dollar store. It's not very many options, to be honest. You know, it's only one family dollar in Sunset. The next one is what, in Camp Crow, Opelousas? And that's a ways. It's very important for it to stay open. But it's not just those in Sunset that are affected. Shonda Brooks lives in Lawtel, where another family dollar store is temporarily closed. They're placed in neighborhoods so that people can walk to them. And so when they close, it, can, it creates a huge inconvenience. And then at least folks have to maybe go to a convenience store where things aren't convenient because they're sometimes twice the price. This didn't happen to Whole Foods. This happened in communities where they're already struggling. As for the discount store chain, Family Dollar released the following statement given the current circumstances. Quote, Family Dollar is notifying its affected stores by letter asking them to check their stock immediately and to quarantine and discontinue the sale of any affected product. The company notes that customers who bought affected products can return them to the store they were purchased from without a receipt. Still, however, some say this is part of a greater issue. I think it just goes to the bigger picture of, of what's going on with corporate America and not really caring about the, the little guy. I hate to say it like that, but, you know, this is a big, this is a big deal. It's, it's affecting a lot of family dollars. And for a full list of those affected stores, you can visit our website, KATC.com. Live in Sunset, Taylor Tool, KATC TV3.